promotion will try to discourage the one doing the promoting by pointing out our weaknesses. We understood, didn't we, that having a handicap puts us in a position to receive more of God's favor. And that favor can come from people that you may think are your enemies. And when we pick it up at verse 5, we see that when asked of the lame man's whereabouts, King David was told that he dwelled in the house of Machir, which means soul. Y'all remember that? Uh, who was the son of Amiel, which means people of God. In a land called Lodibar, which means no pasture. And so here is this man, Lady Winfrey, hiding in the house of a child of God who had been sold. Yeah. In other words, he was enslaved, he was in bondage, he was oppressed. Yeah. Uh, where there was no pasture, yeah. uh, where, where there was in fact no word, Sister Tiffany, and this may be speaking to someone today who is in a place where you are not getting any word. And everything around you is drying up because without the word to water your walls and as a weapon for warfare, you will end up living a defeated and depleted life. Amen. Without the word, you've got no hope. Amen. Without the word, you've got no drive. Without the word, you've got no determination. Without the word, you've got no energy. You've got no outlook. You've got no motivation. And you've got no church. Because there is no word in you. And the word in this text represents a place of feeding, a place of nourishment, a place of growth, health, prosperity, and indeed life. So this thing, God help me get through this, is in a dead, dry, unproductive, and unfruitful place. And he's there because he's been dropped. <laughs> he's been dropped. And he's been left in that condition. And in his mind, he sees himself as an enemy to David based on what uh, he had been told by his father Jonathan about his grandfather Saul. Mephibosheth, whose name means exterminator of shame of idols, was in a place. This exterminator of shame this exterminator of idols was in a place where there was adultery, but it was dry. Yeah. He was in a place where there was no word. Yeah. He was being, Sister Dion, criticized by Simon, yeah. whose name means statue. Yeah. God help me. And if you know anything about statues, yeah. uh, they are made to be admired. Uh, they are made to be gazed upon. They are made to be worshipped. But the problem with statues is they don't do nothing but sit there. Yeah. Collect dust. Man. And look pretty. Yeah. If you may know some cycles that just like to sit around Come on. and talk about all your problems. Yeah. Uh, they like to expose your flaws. Yeah. But they never have the solution that can make your life better. Yeah. You may know some cybers, they like to talk about what they're going to do. Yeah. But every time you see them, they ain't doing nothing. Yeah. Uh, they just like to sit in your house, yeah. eat up your food, yeah. lie on your couch, yeah. watch your TV, yeah. run up your phone bill, yeah. and then talk about you as if you owe them the leisure they enjoy in your presence. Amen. The only reason they have something is that they are with you. On, and the only way they'll ever move is if you move. Because yeah. that's how you handle the statue. Yeah. And there may be somebody in here that needs to do a membership. And that is begin exterminating some idols yeah. in your life so that you can live the life that God intended for you. I, I feel like help coming to God where you are stuck in the place. God, help me when nothing is happening. And you've got some folk that ain't doing nothing but sitting pretty yeah. and living off your time and your day. Yeah. And until you exterminate the relationship, until you exterminate the shame that has come upon you because of idols,
no high notes yeah. that are in your life, yeah. you will never reach the place yeah. of favor that God has prepared for you. That's right. That's right. Look, when you pick up at verse 5, the Bible says that David sent and fetched him. He can rob out of the house that represented children of God who are in fact in bondage. Say it fast for them to get them out of the place where there was no past. Yeah. To get them out of the place where there is no life. Yeah. To get them out of the place where there is no word, no peace, no joy, and no future. Yeah. In this space, my soul shout because favor, y'all, has the ability to find you and then fetch you out of places where nothing is prospering. Yeah. And I want to challenge somebody today with the news that God is calling you up out of all of us. Y'all look at your neighbor and tell them, get a good look at me now, because I'm about to be deuces. I'm about to throw some deuces to you. I'm about to be out of this dead, dry place. I'm about to be out of this place where ain't nothing happening. I'm about to be gone. Because I need to be in something where something is happening. God is telling someone right now, it's time to leave Lodabar. God is speaking to someone's spirit and telling them, now that favor has found you, it's left up to you to follow the favor. And in following the favor that has found you, it will lead you away from bondage. It will lead you away from dead things. It will lead you away from dead, unproductive, unfruitful, dead-end relationships and dead-end jobs. And it will take you to places that you've only read about in books. And it'll do more for you than anything you've ever studied, dreamed, or imagined. I'm so glad that favor will find you. Yeah, just like it did for fellowship. Father, it will find you at your lowest point and call you out of places and from around people that are not good for your future. Amen. Said the Bible, y'all. Look, look, my fellowship. Brother Agent was from a royal bloodline. This was Saul's grandson. Saul was king. Mephibosheth came from royal blood, but had allowed himself to be put in a place where he was not living like the royalty. (laughs) Y'all ain't with me. He was from a royal bloodline. But he was in a place where he wasn't representing royalty. And the prodigal son told me to tell somebody today that what I love about the favor of God is that even after you've messed up, even after you've lost all you were given because of foolish living, favor will find you. Favor will fetch you. And favor will allow you to come to yourself at your lowest point. And it'll lead you back to the Father's house. Y'all ain't with me. That you may be restored to your royal position. Joseph told me not to forget about his testimony. And that you'll never end so deep that favor can't find you. Because he was thrown in a pit by his brothers. But favor got him out of the pit. But favor got him into slavery. But then favor turned him from a slave to a ruler in Potiphar's house. Tell your neighbor, I could use some of that. Favor, favor got him lied on, Sister Connie, by Potiphar's wife. Because you do know the favor on your life will turn other folks on to you. To the point where they may even hit on you. Go tell your neighbor, say it's all right to hit on me. Just don't hit me. If you can hit on me all day long, just don't hit me. Favor got him thrown in jail. But while in jail, Favor got him promoted while in prison. Ooh, that, that's going to preach one day. Hallelujah. And then Favor got him out of prison and into the house of Pharaoh to eventually becoming the second in command. The Favor owned him Save his family and Egypt from the famine. Amen. And even caused Egypt to prosper greatly Amen. under his command. 
Now, say this to say that favor ain't always tied in the sky, people. 